Hey, I'm Adam with Adam's Order. In today's episode of TIG Tuesday, we would like to launch the Lincoln Ranger 225. Stay tuned. Now the settings we'll be using to load these lap joints will be approximately 110 amps, as you can see here. I got the uh, 145 in our course adjustment, and our fine adjustment I've got set at the low end of the 5 spectrum, which should be around 110 amps. Today I'm loading lap joints with this Lincoln Ranger 225 with 1 16th tungsten and 3 32nd filler rod on this 1 8th lap joint. Lap joints are fairly easy once you understand how to see your puddle wet out and how to keep enough filler metal in there. Uh, you should see the puddle going all the way down into the root of the weld and it's important to scratch start to shield the end of your weld. Now you can see from this angle a little bit better what's going on. I'm using a 15 degree push angle and I'm striking off the filler rod to do this joint. I'm using kind of a back and forth with a little C motion that you can see. Uh, sometimes it's referred to as a J weave. And I'm dabbing as I pull back. TIG's a, a slow form of welding, but is a good form to know because it really expands the amount of stuff you can weld. More so than MIG or stick welding. Uh, you can weld stuff that you can't add filler metal to a TIG just by doing a hotter genius weld but like this here is a uh, lap joint they can be done with or without filler in this video I'm doing it with filler and I'm just moving back and forth welding it along I make sure when I snap out of the arc to shield the end of the weld a good TIG weld should look shiny all the way through Now these here are the lap joints that I welded in this video. As you can see, they're pretty consistent and I'm improving at my TIG welding, getting back used to it. Hey, I hope you like this video on TIG welding lap joints with the Lincoln Ranger 225. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Click that little bell icon so you'll be notified of our future videos. And don't forget, keep on welding, folks.